What's up guys, it's Matters and we're going to be looking at an absolutely huge easter egg cipher found on the new DLC map for Black Ops 3 Zombies Dark Eisendrock that actually relates to a lot of different stuff involving the gatekeepers from Shadows of Evil and the gatekeepers potentially teleporting to different maps with Rick Toffman and a ton of stuff involving that. There's a lot of actual like information we're actually going to go through in this video so definitely stay tuned and let's just start off here with the actual cipher within Der Eisendrock. So it's found in this location, it's right across from Juggernaut, I think you guys know where that is, it's in the, like the little prison cell room, and basically in there there's like a note on the ground. And that note was actually deciphered from the actual coronation and the combination of the letters and numbers that it contains, and it reads, We have discovered that there are beings that can travel between dimensions without the aid of teleporters. And what that is, obviously, is the gatekeepers. The gatekeepers can travel without actually needing any teleporters. They can basically travel on their own. Now, I'm going to read you guys a bit about the gatekeepers in general, and then how they play a huge role within Eisendrock as well, and then potentially future DLCs, maybe even bringing the old characters back, what they've done with the Black Ops 2 characters, everything like that, and um, yeah, let's get started here. So, gatekeepers in general, obviously characters from Black Ops 3 within Chaz of Evil, um, and let me just read the actual summary here. The gatekeepers are manifestations of the ancients who are part of the Order of the Keepers, an ancient order with the purpose of protecting the summoning key. In Shadows of Evil, they try at first to present, prevent the characters from handing the summoning key to the Shadow Man, but later aid them in killing their Shadow Man and retrieving the summoning key back. Um, they are shown to be allies of Edward Richthofen and the group, as in Derizendrock, Richthofen summons one from a tomb and aids it in returning to its actual physical form. In return, the Gatekeeper transports the MPD from Moon to Derizendrock, that's Get, you know, obviously gets corrupted with along the way. Uh, gatekeepers, again, just talking about the visual appearance and stuff. Um, but again, the gatekeepers, a bunch of really interesting stuff surrounding them. Um, we're not so sure as of now if they're actually like on Richtofen's side with the actual summoning key because the problem with Richtofen is that we don't really know his true intentions with the summoning key as of now. And as we talked about before just now, the Shadows, Shadows of Evil you know, summoning key, um, that was basically there and the gatekeepers, they were there to protect the summoning key. That was basically the deal going on there. They didn't want the Shadow Man to have it and once the characters were giving it to the Shadow Man, the gatekeepers were like, no, 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 you can't, you can't do this. Um, so the gatekeepers, they're sort of in this weird independent stage where all they want to do is protect the summoning key. Now the thing is, like I said, we need to know what Richtofen wants to do with the summoning key and how the gatekeepers may actually help them or hurt him depending on DLC4. DLC4 really all is like where it actually goes down and we really where we get to see what the summoning key's usage actually is and what Richtofen is going to use it to complete his master plan. Whatever his master plan is, the summoning key will be used for that. And a part of that obviously is obtaining the souls of all of the characters from the Origins universe and then using that again for some weird reason within DLC 4. Um, obviously we have the first map Shadows of Evil, he took the soul potentially, he doesn't really know, um, but you know he took the soul of himself and then maybe sh the Shadow Man, we're not so sure about the Shadow Man, I don't think Rick Toffin knows that the Shadow Man's soul is within there, but basically he took himself, he took his soul, he ended his life from the Black Ops 1 and World at War universe. Now, I would say DLC 1, um, Dempsey's life now ended within the Black Ops 1 and World at War universe. So you have two of the four souls within the summoning key. DLC 2, DLC 3, wh whatever the characters are, you're gonna have Takio's soul taken away and you're gonna have Nikolai's soul taken away. Now the Gatekeeper, again, their goal potentially here, well, not really potentially, but in general, is to protect the summoning key, um, and they just want the summoning key to be not really in their hands, but just, like, to make sure it's safe or something. We're not so sure what their what the deal is with that. And another thing is that, do the gatekeepers actually know what's occurring with the summoning key? Do the gatekeepers know that the summoning key has the power to obtain all of these souls, and does Richtofen think like, oh yeah, these gatekeepers are like stupid or something, they don't understand that I'm gonna use the summoning key for my own purpose, I'm gonna attain the souls, and I'm gonna do whatever I need to do. Again, it would be a lot easier to explain this if we knew what Richtofen's grand scheme was of Black Ops 3 Zombies, because obviously he has one with the summoning key, um, but as of now, we have no clue if the gatekeepers are just like, okay, whatever, do what you want, as long as you don't give it to Shaw Man, as long as you just like, don't do anything bad with it, I guess, but obviously Richtofen is doing something pretty bad. Um, 
it's really weird. Again, we'll have to see anything else that occurs, any other maps. I think a lot of the other DLC maps will give us more information on this as of now. Um, but right now, the gatekeepers, just to like let you guys know, they're gonna play a minor role, not really minor, but just they're gonna re they're gonna play a reoccurring role within the next couple of DLCs, especially you know DLC two and three, and then probably DLC four to end it off. Um, you know, not because of the Shadows of Evil lore, not because Shadows of Evil is like the new base map and they want to continue the actual storyline because of the fact that the gatekeepers you know they have this huge relation with the summoning key and obviously the summoning key now like this crazy artifact that Rick Toffin's using to basically complete his whole grand scheme that will take DLC one two three and then obviously four it will end it off there um so that's the reason why that's continuing that's the reason why this is a pretty cool cipher because it's really continuing the fact that these gatekeepers are going to be you know able to teleport to each of these maps and actually like really get something done with these uh summoning keys and we're not with these summoning key with the summoning key and then with the Richtofen and, and then obviously the confrontation may occur between Richtofen and then the summoning key um no I mean yeah Richtofen summoning key and then obviously um the gatekeepers whether or not they're all still in an alliance or whether or not they're breaking their alliance because they understand that they're you know the Richtofen is using it for evil or if Richtofen's doing it for good who knows really um but again we'll have to see what happens so hopefully you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching again another like little theory there based off of the cypher um but the cypher itself really revealing a lot of crazy stuff um regarding the gatekeepers regarding the next couple of dlc maps and regarding the actual storyline in general um so tell you guys what you think and i'll see you guys later